I hear people every single day when I say, okay, we can do our cardiac panel. They say, oh, no, I just had a stress test. And to me, that is not checking your risk factors. That's to see, do you already have a blockage? And it's not even very effective at that. There is no. many false negatives and false positives to a stress test. So that's why you want to do blood testing. Even if you've had a stress test, even if you've had an echo, there's things that don't get shown on that testing that you can see a risk factor for. And you do something preventatively before it causes a problem. You know, when you look at something like a stress test or an, an echo, you're, you're looking at a physical test, okay, for the physical body. Now, the body's very adaptive, and it can kind of struggle its way through a lot of stuff. I've seen many people who uh, had you know, no problem with stress test, and yet they, they had a heart attack or they've had, had heart attacks. They've had all kinds of problems. But when you look at something like homocysteine and, and knowing that you know, that can really be that, and it's something simple to, to, to fix, but you have to know it's there. This is where we have to take responsibility and say, hey, it's my health. 